What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to be having a look at the MacBook Pro 2021. This is the 16 inch model with the M1 Pro chipset. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off this review, we're going to be having a look around the device. Now it's just like every other Apple MacBook Pro, but Apple have changed things up this year, made it a bit chunkier. It is a bit heavier as well, but it does come with a SD card reader and a HDMI slot, which we'll get onto a little later. So on the back, you will notice the MacBook Pro branding and also four other tips to keep your device sturdy. So Apple have upgraded this machine with a few new ports. We have got the new MagSafe connector, which we'll talk about a little later. And alongside that, you will see two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. Moving over to the other side, you will notice a HDMI port alongside a SD card reader and another USB-C port. So Apple have decided to upgrade the display on this MacBook Pro. It now uses mini LED technology with 1000 nits sustained brightness to 1600 nits at peak brightness. The screen has a near to enough 4K resolution, however it's not true 4K. Nevertheless, you can still work with 4K and 8K video. So with the new display, you do also get the new ProMotion feature, which are in Apple's iPhones and also iPads. It's adapted refresh rates ranging from 24Hz to 120 So whilst you're looking at the display, you might actually notice the notch. Well, you might actually not because I actually don't when I'm using my MacBook Pro. There is a notch, however, and it houses the 1080p camera, which does not, weirdly enough, have Face ID. The menu bar also gets blacked out entirely when you put an app in video on full screen, which gives an effect that the notch is not there while you're using your MacBook. It's not given me any issues, and I don't really ever notice it, to be fairly honest. The bezels are super thin, and so is the display. On the 16-inch, when you're lifting up the lid, it does seem a bit floppy, and that's just something to note. So Apple have also added a new keyboard into this Mac Pro. Apple are using a scissor style keyboard here and it's a really, really great to type with. I've actually been using it quite a lot and it's one of the favorite features on the MacBook Pro. Up in the top right corner, there is a power button with a built-in Touch ID sensor so you can log into your computer, download apps and log into websites just using Touch ID, which I found really useful. The touch bar has now been removed and replaced with a set of function keys, including brightness, volume and volume controls. And you can also activate spotlight search and mission control. So I'm really impressed with the trackpad. It's actually huge on the 16 inch model. Alongside the keyboard, these are my two favorite features on this new MacBook Pro. It's huge, it has immersive proportions and it has this clicking sensation that I'm really a fan of. So if you ever used a Mac before, there's nothing different. There are new features in Mac Monterey, which is the pre-installed software when you get this device. So you can do stuff like split screen view. You can go ahead and use shortcuts now on your Mac. Apple have added shortcuts into this. So you can do a whole bunch of stuff such as copy and pasting items, renaming a bunch of files and much, much more. So there's also Safari group tabs. I do use this quite often. It's very useful if you're using a lot of tabs and you want to group them out into work, social networks, your YouTube, if you have a YouTube channel or whatever you would like. So one of my favorite features in this system is the live text feature. You can go ahead and get any photo off the web and if it's got text or an address on there, you can go ahead and copy and paste the information straight to your clipboard and go ahead and paste it into a document or a note. It's very useful and it does come in handy quite a lot. I am currently testing the 16 inch MacBook Pro base model. This particular machine has 10 core CPU and a 16 core GPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 SSD. The performance of the M1 Pro is silky smooth. I've been editing in After Effects and even though it's not currently compatible for the M1 chipset, it runs super smooth. Exporting time and Final Cut Pro are crazy fast and it's just something that will make you want to switch from Premiere Pro or any other video editing software. So I actually develop apps for my job and Xcode on this machine is super, super smooth. It runs perfectly. There has been a few bugs, but that's just mainly down to Xcode itself. The time building apps and running general code is super smooth. I've not had no lagged frames or anything like that. And I'm really impressed. So something I had to mention in this review is the speaker system, which really impressed me. The bass on the 16 inch models are so satisfying. Listening to music is a pleasure and the laptop gets super loud with its great surround sound. So Apple state that you get 21 hours of movie playback and 14 hours of web browsing with this new MacBook Pro. However, I didn't really do any tests on the battery life, but it did last me a long time and I'm really impressed with it. It's something that I did have to mention in this review as well. The flash charging feature is super, super handy. It charged my device in around 30 minutes from zero to 100 and I'm really impressed with it. Something to note though, the MacBook Pro did heat up a little bit when it was charging. I don't know if it was because it was on charge or 
the fast charging method or there's something up with the computer. However, it's not heated up any time after that, but that's just something to mention. So that's everything I've got to tell you about this new MacBook Pro that's worth mentioning. It's definitely a computer that I can recommend. It's super fast, it's reliable, and it will last you a long, long time. So let me know what you think about the MacBook Pro in the comments section if you've got one. If you've not, let me know if you're thinking about getting one in the comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next video.